Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you and today we are doing another try on haul from Lily Coco. Lila Coco. Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I don't pronounce things correctly ever. Never, I just can't, so sorry about that. But this company says they have clothes that will fit my body type very well. And as you guys know, I have trouble finding things that fit me, that look good, and don't make me look boxy. So let's see if they can do it. So the first thing are these things that look like snakeskin pants and they're workout pants. I can tell right now that I already love the material. It's that breathable type of material that I like. It's not too thick. Anyone else watching who hates like thick material when they're working out, I can't stand it. My quads need to breathe. So let's slide these things on. I'm kind of worried about the waist. It looks a little big. I'm sure my, my legs seem to always fit into things, but it always has a problem with the waist. So let's see, I'm gonna change my shirt too just so it can matchy match so it doesn't look so weird as well. All right, you guys, so I switched out the shirt and the pants actually feel really good. So let me just take you down a little bit. I think it makes my butt look super big, which I mean, that's a good thing. They fit really nice, you guys, I love them. I have a feeling uh, if I wear these to the gym, I'm going to have quite a bit of story times for you guys with the men that will probably feel the need to talk to. Always happens when I wear like eye-catching things to the gym. So get ready for some, some more story times. Let's try on the next one. So they sent me a pink pair of pants. Remember, I've been looking for a pink pair of pants that fit me well, that isn't too tight around my waist, like a perfect size around my waist and not super uh, constricting on my thighs. Right now, what I'm feeling is the material is thin, not thin where it's going to be see-through, hopefully. I'm not seeing my fingers through, so that's good. Um, it does have a scrunchy butt in the back, so we'll see how that looks. I feel like whenever there's scrunchy butts, my butt's just gonna stretch it out so much that it's all just gonna break. So we'll see, let me put these on. So let's just do the good first. I love the color. I love that it's high waist. It's stretchy and breathable. The only thing that I do not like is like I said, this like thing, that's, Weird. It just reminds me of the inside of a butthole. I know TMI or too much, too detailed, but that's what it reminds me of. The ripples of a butthole on my pants. And I just don't want it there. So everything other than that, I like these pants. So the next one, we just have a basic black t-shirt dress. And what I like so far about it, well, one, it's stretchy, but two, I don't know if I can show you guys, but it like goes in like hips. Like it looks like it's, it's not just straight up and down. There's hips built into it, so maybe it'll just fit my hips better. Let's see. So this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites. It fits like a glove, but it's not too tight. It's got the perfect amount of stretch. The dress stops exactly where I want it to stop, like right above the quads. Cause you know us gym girls have to show off our quads. This just might be my favorite dress. I really wish I didn't have a sweating pit issue because then I would get something other than black. But anyone who's watching who might order these, I think they have other colors. And I would get this in every freaking color because usually a lot of dresses that I don't love because it fits me kind of frumpy lumpy. Anyone else who has very wide hips and like wide shoulders and a small waist with boobs, like do you feel me? Because whenever I get like certain types of dresses just fit me very frumpy. And I just look like a box and I, and I don't wanna look like a box. So this one doesn't make me look like a box. If I could wear other colors, I would get it in, in every single color. It is very comfortable and form fitting. You guys have seen some of my other videos about clothing and everything, but if you were to get anything, like I suggest this one. I don't know why, I love it so much. I've always wanted like a t-shirt dress that fits me very nice. And I think maybe it's because the bottom part like kind of loops up so it, it, it does a thing to my legs but i'm really loving it i recommend this to everyone even men okay so this one's just a turtleneck bodysuit i really love turtlenecks but i hate how they look on camera because i just feel like a floating head did you feel like you're on the hunted mansion disneyland ride yeah i know you did you're welcome so the material's very stretchy i love stretchy material. 
but it is kind of see-through if you wear white underneath, but you would just wear black underneath to fix that. I'll make sure to insert some pictures so you guys can see the full thing, because it's kind of hard to do it on here, but I love turtlenecks. Like I said, just not on camera. I, I usually don't wear turtlenecks ever on camera. Like there's certain hairs that I won't wear on camera. There's certain clothes that I just won't wear on camera because it looks weird for me. But I love turtlenecks because I feel like that girl from the Goofy movie. Life is like a lime. Mm, it's tart and tangy. Sweet. Oh, so sublime. So the last one is a bikini, and I figured I need bikinis because I am moving to... It's so cool in California. Yep, California, I'm coming. Yep, so I'm moving to Cali, so uh, why not get some bikinis? And I always loved, loved the bikinis that were like the... What are the freak are these nature things on here? Leaves? Leaves on bikinis? I don't know, I liked it, and I feel like it looks pretty good with like my good old skin tone. So the top feels great. Um, I think it looks like it fits and whatnot, but the bottoms is usually when I where I have issues, which I'll show you in the pictures. But they feel okay, but it just feels a little tight around the hip area. When I get bikinis, one or the other usually fits. So down in the uh, booty department, it's a little tight, and I'll put uh, pictures of what I'm looking like down there. I can get away with it, but I think one wrong move, a butt cheek will probably flap on out. So it kind of depends. Uh, if you're like me and have trouble finding bottoms that fit your booty and if you like your butt cheeks to flap out or not. I'm not sure if the company will like sell a small top and then maybe a medium sized bottom. I'm not too sure, but I'm probably still going to wear this because I really, really love it. I don't know, I feel like the green is just really nice with my skin tone. What do you guys think? So thank you guys so much for watching this little try on haul. I've got a bunch of try on hauls coming for you guys. A bikini one, just purely bikinis, because once again, I'm moving to California and summer's coming up. So we all should just walk around in bikinis. But cheeks flopping out or not, I don't know. Maybe we want to be an Insta model. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Hit that notification button and turn on notifications. Uh, nope, I was supposed to say subscribe. That one, that one. And next video, we are going to be talking about fetishes. I'm so excited to talk about this with you guys. Sorry, I had a little wedgie because my, my butt's big. And on that note, I will see you guys next time.